Hi guys, Joe here from Belltown Vlogs and I will be shortly be leaving for Belltown's next game and their clash with Wisbeach Town at home. Before we get into the video, please leave a like on it, subscribe for more if you are new and follow me on my social medias which are all in the description. So moving on, Wisbeach Town at home today, they are lying 17th in the table but as we know, three games ago, Belpore bottom, so at this stage... Anyone could beat anyone, so we can't read too much into that. I'm sure on their day, they'll be able to do well, just as we can. And so, yeah, point against Mask on Saturday, I think, was a good point on balance. Could have won, could have lost. But I think tonight's result will actually determine whether that was a good point or not. If we can pick up three points tonight, then the point against Mask will seem like a good point. With four points out of six and ten points out of twelve. Hopefully lose, and two points out of possible six doesn't look as great. So it'll be interesting to see how we got on, and I'll get down there, see the game, see what happens, and yeah, and I'll see you guys in a bit. After the game, no. oh, off the line. Oh, it's a great save. Nine one, are you? Save Leverton. Nick a winner. Come on. On. Shoot. Oh. Do something. One. Oh. Oh. Hey! Ref! Oh, you, you're joking! Ref! Go on! Go on! He's on! He's on! Hey, please! Yes! Go yes. on! Yes! Yes! yes. yes. That's a two minutes added time. Two minutes. Please see this out, lads. Please see this out. Yes! I'm actually nervous now. Oh, God. People missed it. Oh, what are you doing, keeper? Now this time, one, one, disappointment. See ya. Yeah, well, so there we go, another late goal conceded by the Nailers. And I just think, yeah, ball into the box, added time, keeper flaps, goal. It's just, why did he come out? I don't know, maybe he doesn't know. It's frustrating. But it's football, that happens, it is painful. And we, are, we aren't really getting the rub of the green at the moment. You could argue maybe the free kick that they lumped in the box wasn't a free kick in the first place, but that's just, that's just a sake of argument. But I think we probably had the better of the game. Wisbees, yeah, they did at the post, keep, made a good save, that sort of thing. But I think we did, 
did have the better of the game on balance. Curtis with a great strike. We thought we'd win it, but alas, no, the rest is history. But yeah, disappointment on Stocksbridge Saturday and then FA Trophy against Stamford. So hopefully our luck will turn. But still, we're unbeaten. We haven't lost, which we could easily have done. So that is a positive. Uh, I've just had a just done an interview with uh, Wisbeach's assistant assistant coach coach Luke and he's kindly done an interview with me so I'll I'll put that on after follow it on to this video and yeah if you've enjoyed this video leave a like subscribe for more and yeah thanks ever so much guys for watching my name is Joe from Bulb Town Vlogs I'll talk to you in a while and now you've got Luke's interview from about Wisbeach Town. Alright so I'm joined here by Wisbeach assistant Co coach Luke. Uh, Luke what were your reflections of the game? Um, I think I think first half it was quite even. I think uh, obviously yourselves had a few more chances hitting the bar and uh, I think you had a little bit more ball. Um, I think we were unlucky uh, with a corner we had. Um, I think we've come through, we've arrived late um, at a pace and uh, the header, I think it's hit one of our lads on the line. So a bit unfortunate. I think so you guys were a bit unfortunate with a couple as well. So I think possibly one all, maybe two ones to you guys at half time could have possibly been a fair reflection of the game. Um, and then I thought second half we came out probably the stronger. Um, thought we dominated the ball a little bit more. I think that's what something we asked the boys to do, just be a little bit more confident with the ball. Um, and and then kind of they had a chance that we, we we cleared off the line. We had a chance where we hit the post and a, your keepers made a good save down at the near post. So I think it was fairly even. And then obviously you've got the goal. I don't know whether the lad's meant to cross it or whether he's meant to strike it. If he's meant to strike it, it's a great strike. Um, but I thought one thing we've asked the boys when, when we go behind is to react. Um, and that's something that we actually did. Um, we react, reacted well and um, I think got something that we deserved. I think we deserved something out of the game. I think a, a draw was a fair reflection of the game. And I also think it, it, it shows that this league's very evenly matched. There's not many teams where teams are going to run away with games. Um, one thing we've asked the boys is to compete in every game and, and that's what we've done. Um, bar kind of little spells um, in games where we've, we've lost games um, particularly against Morpeth uh, when we when we lost the lead um, and against Pickering when we went 1-0 down I think apart from that we've we've competed well and I think every game really we've deserved something from apart from those two games uh, the other one being Frickley where we lost I think we deserve something from that um, so it's a learning curve for our boys um, but something we're enjoying and something we'll continue uh, to work on and improve and They'll gain more confidence, we'll gain more confidence and hopefully we can keep picking more points upon the road and obviously get as many points as we can at Wisbeach. Oh, that's great, thank, thank you very much and see you later in the season. Cheers, thank you.